And welcome everyone. Today we're going to find the volume. I'm going to go through this uh, five question assignment. Only five questions. Can you believe that? And we are finding the volume. So in order to find the volume, you need a length, a width, and a height to make it work. Sometimes they put in extra measurements just to confuse you, but you're always looking for the length, width, and height. And volume fills. So you're filling it up with cubic units. I wish I had a cubic unit to show you. But I don't. I have a ball. Look at this. Woo. Woo. It's magic. Um, anyway, <clears throat> I have a little rap for you to do volume. And it goes like this. I bet you didn't know I was a rapper. But yeah, if we were in class right now, I'd be showing you my rap right now. And the volume rap goes like this. Let me just look all rappy like. All I want to do is rub a zoom, zoom, zoom and find the volume. Just fill it up. That's You guys say just fill it up. Let's try it again. All I want to do is rub a zoom, zoom, zoom and find the volume. Just fill it up. All I want to do is rub a zoom, zoom, zoom and find the volume. Just fill it up. Check, baby, check, baby, length with height. Check, baby, check, baby, length with height. Check, baby, check, baby, units cube. Check, baby, check, baby, fill. All I want to do is rub a zoom, zoom, zoom and find the volume. Just fill it up. All right, guys, let's get going with the volume. Here we go. We have three and a half is the length times the width seven times the height two and a half. Now I'm going to teach you a little hack, guys. Here's the hack. Instead of um, converting all of these to improper fractions and multiplying across, we can convert these mixed numbers into decimals. So in order to do that, three and one half is 3.5. And you are allowed to use a calculator for this. So I will do 3.5 times the width, which is seven times the height, which is two and a half, which is 2.5, 2.5. And I get 61 and 25 hundredths. Now, if I type 61 and 25 hundredths, I'm going to get it wrong because it says fraction. And there's the fine print that we all love about Envision. So we are going to put one fourth there. And then volume is found in units cubed. All I want to do, okay, I won't do it again, unless you want me to. Uh, it is found in units cubed, which is feet to the third power. So <clears throat> just the regular, these are just regular units here. And then a three-dimensional, like th imagine three-dimensional cubes fitting in here. That would be units cubed. Let's see if we get it right, guys. Um, let's see if we get it right. Yes, good. Thank you. It's a good job. All right. Now let's do it again. Length, width, and height. We're finding the volumes. Fine print. They want it in a fraction. Okay. We know it's going to be in meters cubed, right? So two and a half is 2.5 <clears throat> times 3.5 times 7. Did we just do this? Wow. Guys, this doesn't happen often put it's the exact same answer and because of the way it switches up i don't know did that happen for you guys watch it be wrong no fantastic that's right yay i'm trying to get to one specific problem number four which i'll show you now this one's in decimal so they want this in a whole number or a decimal all right well where'd it go where'd it go the things we love about envision all right there it is so we have six tenths times eight tenths times 3.8, and that equals <clears throat> one and 824 thousandths. So one and 824 thousandths. This is the tenths place, hundredths place, and the thousandths place. And this is in, you guessed it, feet cubed or feet to the third power. Let's see if we get it right. And we do. Well done. Thank you very much. Next, <clears throat> we go to now I pre-did all this um, because this is the question I wanted to get to right here, guys, right here for you. The volume of a large tank is 350 yards cubed. It is six and two thirds yards wide and two and four fifths yards high. What is the length of the tank? So the length of the tank. 20 okay so <clears throat> guys let's break this down a little bit because we got a lot going on here all right 
First off, they already gave us the volume. So the volume is <clears throat> there. <clears throat> Sorry, didn't eat breakfast or drink anything this morning. I just woke up and I felt like teaching math. I was like, I miss you guys, you know? Um, <clears throat> so 350 yards cubed, that is the volume. Now, so we have the volume and the volume equals length times width times height. So six and two thirds times two and four fifths times the missing length. So what we have to do is we have to combine these two like terms. So do six and two thirds times two and four fifths. Let's try our hack. Two and four fifths is 2.8. Six and two thirds is 6.6666666. Oh, that's kind of evil. Okay, now we can't uh, really put that in the calculator and get an accurate answer that's going to work for us. So we have to do the long way in our notebooks. You should all have your notebooks out and, and do them out. Uh, so you need to convert this to a improper fraction. Look, I kind of did it for you. Three times six is 18 plus two is 20 over three. You see that? Now, five times two is 10 plus four is 14 over five. This is kind of great review here, multiplying fractions. So when you multiply it out, we could have cross canceled. Oh, should have cross canceled. Anyway, 20 times 14 is 280. Three times five is 15. So 280 divided by 15 is 18 and two thirds. Okay, 18 and two thirds. Now, there's a little space right there, okay? Here we go. So now that we combine these like terms, we need to divide this amount from 350. So 350 divided by 18 and two thirds. Let's review how to divide mixed numbers. So 350 over one divided by, and we convert this into an improper fraction, three times 18, plus two is 56 over three. Now that equals 350 over one times the reciprocal. Okay, so when you divide fractions, remember the left side, leave it. The dividend stays the same. The middle multiply and the right side reciprocate. Reciprocal just goes like that. So now we have 350 over one times the reciprocal of 56 over three, which is three over 56. And... What does that equal? Well, here I remember to cross cancel, guys. So we cross cancel. What can you divide both 350 and 56 by? Well, what I do is I knew an even number would go in because zero and six. So I, I knew two was a factor, but I kind of suspected we could go more. So then I thought of the factors of 56, which um, seven times eight came to mind right away. And then I tried to divide by eight and that didn't get a whole number. So then guys, I divided it by seven and it worked for both, both of them. Uh, so 56 divided by seven is eight and 350 divided by seven is 50. So we just cross canceled and you just cross those out. And it's really exciting when you can do it because you can um, just save a lot of time. Uh, so that now we have 50 times 3 is 150. 1 times 8 is 8. So now we have 150 over 8. And 150 divided by 8, it goes in 18 times with 3 left over out of 4. 18 and 3 fourths. Let's see if that worked, guys. 18 and 3 fourths. Man, if this doesn't work. <laughs> oh, my goodness. If this doesn't work. Now, whoa, we got to put this in. Um, 18 and three fourths. Okay. Watch this guys. This is volume is in cubic units, cubic yards, yards cubed here. And these are just in these dimensions are just in regular yards. So that goes there. Whew. I thought we would get it wrong. All right, here we go. The moment of truth. Cause I don't want to do all that work again. Yes. Oh, I love doing math. I hope you guys are like doing this math over. I wish I could do it with you. We have so much fun in class. I am 
really wanting to go back on May 1st because I want to teach you about the mean absolute deviation and box plots, histograms, statistical questions, which can be measured. I bet you're doing that today. All right, let's crank this easy one out and we'll uh, cut this uh, screencast. I probably won't even use this one. Probably end up doing it again. Uh, two and a half. So two and a half is 2.5. And I'm just doing the community of property instead of doing length times width times height. I'm doing height times length times width. So you can, you can mix it up because that's the community of property. So 2.5 times 4.5 times five. And we have 56 and 25 hundredths. Well, if I put 56 and 25 hundredths, what's going to happen? Feet cubed. Arr, wrong. All right. So 56, um, because they want a fraction. Fine print. Envision. Here we go. 56 and one fourth. Um, let's see. <laughs> Excellent. All right, guys. I miss you. I hope you're enjoying your time at home. If you want me to do more of these, let me know. Give me some feedback and then I'll I'll do them. When people request things, I do them. Someone requested some problems from here and I thought I would do this just to uh, help you guys out. Hey, my name is Jason Jacobs. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't worry about doing anything on this. You don't have to like, comment, or subscribe. Um, I'm just going to end this. All right. Bye. Okay. Stop somehow. How do I stop this?